Alright, so I thought I would start this video with a little PSA for the map. I know that these locations aren't exactly correct, but they needed to be big enough so that you could see them and they were still geographically correct. For example, Berkeley is next to Stanford and San Jose. However, it is an hour north and San Diego State is not that far from UC UCLA and USC. However, it is the furthest south. So I wanted to take that time to acknowledge that I know that the locations aren't exactly correct. However, the locations relative to each other are in fact correct. I wanted to thank you guys for your support over the last couple of days. I've gotten so many likes, so many views, so many comments. It's very encouraging to see as a small YouTuber uh, receiving that type of feedback. It's been amazing, and I thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video and more to come. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Imperialism video, and today we've got this map of California, these seven FBS schools, and we're going to see which one of these schools has what it takes to take over the entire state of California. Now the game works the exact same as it did before. I have a wheel here with all seven of the team's names, and that will be determining who will be the attacker or the away team. In this case, it'll be UCLA. I will then be spinning an arrow wheel to determine which way they will be attacking. In this case, UCLA which would be attacking east, which is toward USC. Now, there is a little bit of a twist here. I got this idea from watching Bordeaux's NCAA 14 Imperialism map on Texas, and that idea is that only the attacking team can take over a territory. So if the defending team wins, they do not lose their territory. In this case, because UCLA is attacking USC, if UCLA were to beat USC, they would be taking over that right part of the territory next to them. However, if USC were to win, Nothing would happen, and we would go again until the attacking team becomes a victor, and so on and so forth throughout the entire video. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let's see which one of these teams can take over all of California. Now, the first spin could really change the trajectory of this video, so let's see who we're going to roll first. It looks like it's going to lean toward UCLA, and let's see where they're attacking. It looks like they're going to head north, and when you look directly north of UCLA. Technically, it is Fresno State, so that's who they're going to be playing to start off the video. As we get into our first game, you can see that UCLA is down by 11 in the fourth quarter, 20 seconds left, second and 10, as Dorian Thompson hikes the ball, steps up in the pocket, and finds an open receiver for a touchdown. Now, they need to go for two in order to make this a three-point game, and they hike it, hand it off, and proceed to go right into the end zone. However, Fresno State recovered the onside kick and were able to keep their territory winning 32-29. to Alright, spin number two here. Let's see which one of these teams is going to have the opportunity to take over another piece of land. It looks like it's going to be San Jose State. Let's see which way they're going to go. San Jose State going south. Now south of them is Fresno State, so they're going to have the opportunity to knock them off. And they absolutely do. San Jose State travels to Fresno and absolutely destroys them to take over that first piece of land here. Unbelievable. After Fresno State fended off UCLA, they fall to San Jose State of all teams. I think that that's a big upset, to say the least. And San Jose State starts out this video with being able to take over pretty much all of Central California here. Wow, I'm genuinely shocked. This is what the map is looking like now as my Fresno State Bulldogs have been eliminated by San Jose State and we get into our next spin. Unfortunate that my Fresno State Bulldogs are the first team to be eliminated, but we must continue on as it looks like UCLA will be the next team to be attacking. Once again, they couldn't beat Fresno State, but let's see what they'll be attacking this time as they'll go southeast. Now from their logo, that actually goes into USC territory and they walk in to United Airlines Field and are beating USC currently as Caleb Williams drops back and finds his receiver for a big gain over the middle of the field. Next play here, Caleb Williams goes and he's searching, searching, and he finds his receiver, but he drops it at the very end. That could have been a big play. Caleb Williams goes and he's scouting. He finds his running back down the middle of the field for another 12, 13 yards. Just over midfield now. Caleb Williams goes and he almost throws an interception here to UCLA. That could have been the end of game. 
Caleb Williams on second and 10. He's scouting, he's scouting, and he ends up just throwing the ball away. 24 seconds left, third and 10 now. Halfback screen. His running back's going up the field for a first down, fresh set at about the 33 yard line. 15 seconds and counting now. Caleb Williams goes and he's scouting. And he ends up finding his receiver, Jordan Addison, for a 16-yard gain. 10 seconds left now. Caleb Williams decides to take it himself, steps up, and only finds one yard. Five seconds left. Last play of the game. Caleb Williams is scouting. He finds his receiver slanting over the middle, but UCLA stops him and ends up taking the game. Being from Southern California at the current moment, UCLA... Fans are rejoicing over the fact that they somehow managed to beat USC. That must feel absolutely amazing. And here's what the map looks like with that big, huge upset over uh, UCLA had over USC. And after that upset on USC by UCLA, this is really anybody's game. Any one of these five teams could really win this thing. As you see, Berkeley gets rolled next. Which way are they going to be attacking it looks like they're going to go southwest, which leads right into Stanford territory. And Stanford actually ends up losing this game. Believe it or not, Stanford was winning 24-0. to And Berkeley, from the second quarter on, scored 33 unanswered points to really take this over. As you can see, Tanner McKee misses a wide open receiver down the middle of the field there. And it just seems like... That was Stanford's story throughout the remainder of that game after the first quarter. They really looked like they could get nothing done for the rest of that time. And with Stanford now out, we are down to our final four. Berkeley, San Jose State, UCLA, and San Diego State. Let's see who's got what it takes to win this thing. As we get into our final four, let's see who's going to have the opportunity to take over another territory. And it looks like it's going to land on UCLA once again. And which way are they going to be attacking? It looks like they're going to be attacking to the northwest. Northwest would be San Jose State. And from the looks of it, San Jose State is driving. 40 seconds left, 2nd and 10 as their quarterback drops back. And they find Isaiah Hamilton over the middle of the field for a big 14-yard reception. Now, 19 seconds left, 3rd and 4. Quarterback's dropping. And... He ends up throwing it away, going down to 4th and 4. It's literally coming down to the wire here. And let's see what what type of uh, offense they're going to come out here. As you can see, San Jose State hikes the ball, and he steps up. The quarterback's going, and instead of trying to bulldoze his way through, he ends up running into the defense, and that's going to be the end of San Jose State. It was a good run while it lasted. But UCLA takes over their territory and finds their way into the final three. This might be UCLA's game to lose, you know, folks. As you can see, UCLA now surrounded by San Diego State and Cal. Now let's see which way this spin lands here as we get into our final three attacking team. And it looks like it's just going to about stay in UCLA's territory here. As we know, UCLA is surrounded on both sides, so north and south, they will be playing a team. As you can see, it landed south, and they'll be taking on San Diego State. And UCLA marches into San Diego and completely destroys them from start to finish, being up by as much as 40 at one point. The game was never even close. And UCLA seems to be completely in control right now. They've eliminated at least three teams. And now they get to take over that most southern territory for themselves, leaving just two teams remaining in this tournament. UCLA fans, what do you think about this? Does UCLA have what it takes or is Berkeley going to come out of nowhere and completely take this thing from under UCLA's nose? Seeing as we're in our final two teams here, this spin will just determine which one of these two teams will be the away team as it looks like just like for the rest of the video, UCLA will be heading on the road into Berkeley. Let's see if they can take down the Bears. Here we are in the fourth quarter. You're going to see every single play from this drive. As you can see, Berkeley has one minute to go down the field and score seven to take this game into overtime as Jack Plummer finds his open receiver in the middle of the field and they call a timeout. Once again, sits in the pocket, finds a receiver, 
and calls another timeout. Second and three, 50 seconds left now. Drops back and finds his running back for another big gain. They are now on UCLA's 30-yard line. Next play, Plummer finds another open receiver. This time he gets out of bounds. That's huge. He doesn't have to use his last timeout here. As you can see on this next play, Plummer finds an open receiver down the middle of the field and he ends up dropping it. That could have put them into solid touchdown range, but instead he has to settle for a dish down for eight yards to get another first down. He steps back next play and throws it over the top of the end zone to stop the clock. Second and ten, he finds his receiver short four yard gain, third and six. And then he ends up throwing an interception to end the game. Berkeley was so close. But in the end, it's going to be UCLA that's going to end up taking over all of California. Defeating Berkeley to finally take over this most North Part territory. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is not the team that I expected to win. I thought USC was going to take this hands down from the very beginning. But UCLA marched in here and showed everybody what they can do, and they end up winning the entire tournament, running the state of California. Who could have thought? And once again, I would just like to thank you guys for all of your support over the last couple of days. The feedback on my video has been absolutely incredible. I've gotten something like 15,000 views on it so far, well over 100 subscribers. It's been absolutely incredible, and you guys are encouraging me to make more. It's so amazing i'm speechless i thank you guys for everything that you're doing everybody that's supporting me and i hope that you guys stick around while i enjoy making content and can create something beautiful for you guys that being said if you guys are new here make sure you smash that subscribe button like the video comment any ideas that you guys have of other video ideas that you guys would like to see me do if it involved imperialism or not and i will catch you guys in the next one peace